we're at part six of the base camp training and after all these unfamiliar complex devices I thought for this time I cover something which is more familiar to you. Computers. And you might wonder why we would even discuss that because yes you need probably a very fast computer and that's it. But stop. I didn't say easy. I just said familiar. Also the topic computer is just a level more confusing in astrophotography than in your regular life. Otherwise it wouldn't be fun. So everything you need to know about computers right after the trailer. So what if I tell you that you need more than one computer to do astrophotography? I know that's probably the moment where you seriously consider if you shouldn't look for another hobby, but stick with us for a moment. In astrophotography we have two very different purposes for computers. One, we need a computer who helps us to do the shooting, who controls everything while we're doing the shooting. And second, we need a computer to stack, to process the pictures. So to process all the data that we generated in the night of the shooting. And the requirements that we have for these two computers, they couldn't be more different. And so we start with the computer which we need to control the shooting. And you might be wondering, so, so what's so difficult? What is there to control? Some parts we have already covered and a lot of things are still coming in the next parts of these trainings. So first and foremost, the computer has to control the camera in case you're not using a DSLR, which does it on its own. But with astro cameras, they are fully controlled by the computer and they also do not store the pictures they shot on device but they pass it on right away to the computer. Beside that we're doing autofocusing. We will still cover that. We need a computer who controls the mount, who does the plate solving so that the mount knows where it is. Then to be ultra precise we have to do guiding. We will also come to that. That's fully done by the computer. Then we discussed about filter. If you have a filter wheel the filter wheel is controlled by the computer and so on and so on. Now to do all that and more, you have two very different routes which you can go. And this choice will influence a lot of your choices about the equipment you're gonna buy. And the first choice that you have is the ASI Air. The ASI Air is a mini computer that is produced by Sivo. Sivo, remember, camera, exactly. The great part is that it's ultra easy. Everything is already installed, already integrated, and you can with a tablet or with a smartphone, you can access it. And you can connect everything you want to this ASI Air. Your camera, your mount, your focuser, your filter wheel, everything. And another advantage is of the ASI Air that it's quite affordable. So it's an absolutely great device, also looks nice, red. So why should we even discuss any other option, this second route? Because this looks amazing, right? Right, if you're willing to live with certain drawbacks. Number one, and that's the big issue. By buying an ASA Air, you completely lock yourself into the SIVO environment. You want another camera than the SIBO camera? Doesn't happen, doesn't work. You want another filter wheel? No way. You want another focuser? Forget about it. You want to use something exotic like an automatic rotator? SIBO doesn't offer it yet. You cannot use anything from another manufacturer. So at the moment you buy an ASI Air, you sign yourself up for everything SIBO. And I don't say that this is particularly bad. SIVO offers quite okay stuff, but there is better stuff out there and we already seen this a little bit and we will see that also in what's to come. 
So that's just something you have to very, very carefully to consider. There are two things that does not have to be SIVO, the scope, because there's no electronics in there, and the mount. But even with the mount, you have to make sure that the ASI Air is compatible with this mount. And the other issue is with the ASI Air that even it really offers a lot of different features. There are some limitations, certain things which other applications offer, which the ASI Air does not offer. Also, that's something you have to understand. You're limited to whatever the ASI Air is offering to you. And last but not least, you have to be comfortable with tablets or smartphones. If you rather would actually control your scope from a computer, it's not going to work with the AS Air. It has to be tablet or smartphone. So that's one option. What if you rather stay open from a brand point of view? What if you want to have all the options from a functionality point of view? Then you have to rely on a computer. And on this computer, you will install a software like Nina. You might have already heard this name. It's a free software which offers an amazing functionality. It's a little bit more complex at the beginning than the ASA Air, but it's absolutely possible to learn. And Nina connects then to all these devices over an interface called ASCOM. And that's a standardized interface which every device speaks. So whatever device of any brand you're buying, it speaks ASCOM. And it can connect through ASCOM with a lot of different softwares on your computer, on your PC, and Nina is one of them. So what options do we have computer-wise? Because that's what this part is about, that we can use. And the most important condition is, and it really pains me to say that as an absolute Apple fanboy, but it needs to be Windows. ASCOM is a technology that works on Windows only. And most of the software based on that is also Windows only. So while for everything else you can do it with a Mac, but for that purpose you need to use a PC, a Windows PC. Now how your Windows PC looks like, you have in principle three options. So the most cost effective option is if you already have a notebook, you can simply connect the notebook to all of these devices, put it right beside the mount, and that works. And the big advantage here obviously is that you don't have to pay another dime. The disadvantage is mostly in winter that each and every time you want to check on the progress, you have actually to go outside. And it might be very, very cold in the night and you might just get up from your cozy bed and you just want to check, is everything all right? And you have to get out to minus 10, minus 20 degrees. That's not such a pleasant experience. Also, this whole thing might lead to vibrations. It might lead to light pollution of your mount because of the display and so on. So long story short, it's feasible. Is it recommended? Not really. So what is recommended? Recommended is something like this. No, that's not my cell phone. Sometimes, even for me as a geek, it's just amazing where we ended up. Because this here is a Mealy Quieter and that's a full Windows PC. You see it here, that's the Mealy Quieter 2.0. I think at the moment we are at 4.0. As you can see, it has two HDMI ports, it has USB-C ports, USB ports, it even has an Ethernet port. That's really a PC. And the cool part is you can just glue it or Velcro it. I, for example, have Velcro down here to your mount. And you put Nina and everything else you need right on this computer. It also has an SD card slot where you can put a big SD card in, which actually will save all your pictures. And then you remote control this mini computer from your warm home through Wi-Fi. And that even works with some workarounds if you are outside in the dark somewhere. The great part about this is also that it doesn't need a lot of energy. So if you work with a battery, 
somewhere outside in the wild. This doesn't take a lot of energy, which helps you get through the night with your battery. So these million quieters you can get through amazon.com and they're really a little bit the quasi standard of mini computers and I think they cost around $300 or something like that. So they're pretty cheap and really cool. But remember I said there are three ways to go and we have two, your own notebook or a little mini computer. And what I show you now might be a little bit over the top, but I think it's good that you know that it exists. What this here is, is the astrophotography dedicated mini computer. It's called an Prima Lucha Lab Eagle 5. When we talked before in all the different sections about the luxury class, when it comes to computer, that's what it will be. So why would you buy something like that? Because it's not only about the computer, but it's also about the power management. There's a lot of things on your rig that need energy. And this energy has to be distributed. And the Eagle does it all in one package. So it has back here a lot of ports which distribute energy all over the rig. It has a dedicated Wi-Fi network. So even when you're out in the dark that you can actually remote control it. It even has a GPS antenna. It has a lot of different computer ports, a lot of USB ports. It has some ports for the dew heaters. We will look at that too. And then the coolest part, it has a little lens which always looks in the same direction as the telescope because you put it right under the telescope and it analyzes the sky quality. So first of all, you know when it's dark enough to start shooting, but also if in the middle of the night suddenly it gets brighter, what it usually means that clouds are moving in. And so it also detects that. It also detects when there's a shock, if somebody bumped in your mount. It has an inclinometer, so it always reports how the telescope is looking and you can verify that that is actually how it should look like. And beside all that, this thing is built like a tank. So that's quite heavy. It's fully in metal. So there's nothing gonna to happen with that when you are outside. So I say that this is definitely not something you need to enter this hobby, but it is something really cool. And with that, let's come to the second category of computer that you need. You might have already forgotten about that. And that's for the stacking and processing of your data that you actually created all over the night. And here we're in traditional country again. So as a rule of thumb, whatever you have at the moment at your home will be most likely good enough. That said, the faster your computer, the faster the graphics card, the more memory it has, the better. And that's, I mean, with about any software like that. And this all will actually enable you to stack faster and given that stacking can go in the hours until it's stacked, it might make a difference if you have it in an hour or in eight hours. And also when you process, there's some processes which are quite intensive, which might need five or 10 minutes. Also here you're happy if you can proceed a little bit faster. And by the way, coming back as being an Apple fanboy, yes, you can also use here very well Max especially the new M series Macs, for example, Mac minis work very, very well. I personally have a Mac mini M2 Pro and it's working very well. There is one more thing I wanna mention and I created a dedicated video to that. I will link that in the description below your screen because most of the time we're not considering that. And a lot of people also ask what notebook they should actually buy and generally, when you have the choice, when you have the space at home to buy a workstation or a mini computer, like I have my Mac mini, and then buying a big screen, a big high quality screen is the way better solution. Because you invest a lot of time and money to get to a great picture. And to process this picture in the best way, you need screen property, and you need a good picture. 
and to consume afterwards your pictures, you also need big screen property, brilliant image quality, so that it looks good to your eyes. So personally, I use an Apple Studio display and it really made a huge difference from my regular business screen, which I had before. Let's have now a very short excursion to my computer, just that I can show you one or two things that I mentioned. Welcome to my computer. Welcome to Agena Astro. So let's have a look at these computers. So the first one I want to show you, I already entered here, ASI Air, and then they come. So as you can see, the cheapest ASI Air as you can buy costs $200. That's the smallest one with the 32 gigabytes. And then for only $100 more, you get actually then the plus version with the 256 gigabyte. And that's definitely the one I would recommend if you want to go this route. CU offers also some packages already with guide scopes, guide cams, and as you are anyway locked into CIVO, if you go for the ASA Air, then you can also buy at the same time already this stuff and you save a little bit in addition. Now here, just to show you the Mealy Quieter on Amazon.com. So this is now the new one, the 4C, and as you can see for $300, you can actually buy this thing and that's just unbelievable with 512 gigabyte ssd and 60 gigabytes of ram so if you go the mini computer route that's definitely something you cannot top and it just shows you from a price point of view it's 299 for the asi air it's 294 for the milli quieter but actually here you get double the SSD and you have a full-fledged PC and the software is free you have to put on so price wise there's really no difference at all now speaking about price if you would go with an Eagle which I showed you at the end there is a different pricing and you see here these prices which they ask for the Eagle it starts with 850 for the Eagle LE, which I would definitely not recommend because then you are from a, from a computer strength at the level of the Mealy Quieter. So that's kind of pointless. Also a lot of functionalities like this sky sensor is not included here. So it only gets really fun starting with the Eagle 5S. And with the Eagle 5 Pro, you are then really on a i5 Intel chips. So you're really in the desktop region. And I think on this one, on the XTM, you could actually play games. So that's, <laughs> that's for me really over the top. Personally, I have the Pro. I can run all the software that I can also run on a desktop computer on it. So if I would be out in the wild, I could actually process my picture. I could stack them. I could do everything with them. And I feel that's kind of cool. But it has its price and that's just the price of the Eagle. Then comes the power brick, it comes the specialized cables. So this is really a very high price solution, but quality wise, not to top. Again, for top quality, you have to pay and that's through the band in astrophotography as it is in real life with anything. So as I said, short and sweet, this is all I wanted to show you when it comes to computers. So that's already the end for today. In the next part, we dive deep again into the specialized equipment and we look at focusers. Until then, clear skies.